I have been meaning to make this video for a very long time. I think I even mentioned it mm, last year at some point when I was doing all my day hikes about doing a video on what I carry in my day pack. So that is this video. So I'm up here on the side of a mountain and um, my day pack changes each time I go out because it depends on if I'm needing to, uh, like sometimes I've eaten breakfast, so I've taken my breakfast. Um, sometimes I just take snacks. Sometimes it might rain, so I need a rain jacket. Today it's not any uh, forecast of rain. And it was a little chilly when I started this morning, so I have a long sleeve shirt on. That's about to come off. You want to be sure you dress in layers so you can account uh, for the weather. Sammy, come here. She's off running around. Come here, babies. Come here, babies. Oh, good girl. So, um, my pack changes, like I said, depending on each hike. But I will give you a, an idea of what I carry daily. And if you have any ideas what I should should carry or what I should get rid of, you know, put that in the comments below because, like I said, my, my pack is always changing. So, let's get to it. Uh, this is a small backpack that I got, wow, a long, long time ago. I actually bought this in, I think it was Santa Fe, New Mexico. This is a black diamond. It's called the Bullet. And years and years and years ago, one of my very first videos, and I'll link it up here, was what I carried in my day pack. And it was actually a fanny, fanny pack. It was a North Face fanny pack. But... It started because it sits on my lower back. Um, I would put it, you know, I wouldn't wear it in the front. I'd wear it in the back. And it started hurting my back. And so I have yet, or I have since um, switched to a regular, like, day pack. On the outside of the pack, there is no pockets for water bottles or anything. I carry those inside the pack. I carry one. I carry one um, just in my pocket. On the outside of the pack, Sammy has to have her water bowl. Which, let me give her some water now, since we're stocked. And I carry a paracord bracelet. Um, I don't wear the bracelet. I carry it for the paracord, basically, and just in case I need it for something. Also carry a small carabiner right here. And I used to have another one, but it must be somewhere else. All right. So in the small zipper pouch, I carry a um, fork, knife, and spoon set. I really want to get a plastic spork and get rid of this because this is um, a little... The spork would be lighter. Um, I carry a whistle. I carry a compass. Oop. I carry a little bit of um, duct tape and some waterproof matches. Well, matches in a waterproof container. A small bottle of hand sanitizer. And this was, this is just a cord. It used to be on a pair of boots, I think. I just carry that in case. Just in, everything's just in case, you know. And my Leatherman. And I like this Leatherman because it has a saw. It has a saw, so in case I had to saw a limb or something um, for a splint or or to make fire or whatever, I have that. Uh, so I carry the Leatherman, which it has a knife and. Uh, several different knives and file. Uh, what else do I have in here? <laughs> a pair of contacts. In case I lose a contact. And this has a little carabiner on the inside. You want to carry keys or something. So that's all I carry on the outside of my day pack. 
Okay, on the inside of my day pack, I carry a pretty extensive first aid kit. I have been on <laughs> been on several hikes <laughs> without my pack and have needed um, just first aid. And I've added to this. Right now, I just pulled out the emergency blanket and I'm actually sitting on it. I want to get some type of um, tarp, but not, not big. Maybe I'll cut a tarp, but right now I'm just sitting on the emergency blanket. But I've added to this first aid kit. So um, this is a purchased first aid kit, but I added to it. The last time I was at REI, I picked up uh, accessories. And I like to keep them in the individuals, but I also some Advil and some Pepto Bismol. So I add that to it. You never want to be out on the trail and not have those essentials for sure. All right. Also have uh, in here. I won't go over everything, but the things that I've added: um, Repel, and this is a poison ivy stick. Hence why I'm sitting on a <laughs> the emergency blanket because there is so much foliage out here that some of this could be poison ivy um moleskin lip blistex or lip balm and some uh suns sunscreen then everything else is basic band-aids and stuff like that so i'm not going to go over that just what i added so I carry, and this is a representation of, I carry maps, I carry an outdoor journal notebook in case I want to write something down, I want to draw something. And this is a map of the Lincoln National Forest. I'm not currently in the Lincoln National Forest, but um, this is a representation of it. And this other one is a South Central New Mexico map. So I like to carry those in my pack. You know, sometimes I carry my bigger journal, um, my art journal, my nature journal. So, like I said, it always changes. I do carry a bigger knife. This is the Mora knife. Um, also carry toilet paper. I vacuum sealed this. It's lost its vacuum, but I vacu vacuum sealed this probably about 10 years ago. And I've not had to get into it, so that's a good thing. And to go along with that is a wag bag this is a human waste disposal kit and um, it's got bags and the chemicals and everything that you need if you so need um, snacks today's snack is just some cheese pepper jack cheese crackers and some peanuts and raisins and water and plus i have another water over here when I'm currently drinking and this is a bandana <gasps> this is my big extra large camouflage bandana thank you mr. breeze he sent me this so I could sit on this <laughs> there you go I carry a uh, safety lights or light stick I have a flashlight in my pocket, so I also carry some emergency drinking water. This could be used because it's sterile um, in this pack, but this is emergency, emergency. If I run completely out of water, I'll open this up. Um, deep Woods Tallets. Oh, I think I got this out of a um, geocache. I thought that is a perfect idea to have with you or leave it next time here is another um one of those waste disposal bags and this one i've actually uh i got into it um i think i wanted to see but it has the the chemical powder in the bottom so it's supposed to solidify it or something and make it easier to carry and then I keep this bag to um, put it in also pack it in pack it out and this is a mosquito net 
that you could put over your your head in case you need it. And what else? This is an instant cold pack. You know, if you sprain an ankle or need it, say you get overheated, you could crack this open, put it on the back of your neck, or put it on your forehead. Needed that several times and hadn't had it. <laughs> oh, that should be in my uh, first aid kit. These are rubber gloves. And this little... Oh, this is a cheat sheet on how to tie knots. I have the paracord and what it, I didn't know how to tie a knot if I needed to. So, And this is just a little pack. It was a first aid kit. But I've added a lighter. Um, some propel. Those, um, what are they called? This is a wet fire, so it'd be easy to start a fire. A little compass, in case I lost my big compass. And then these are little towels. You get them a little wet and they become a towel. So I just carry, oh, and a lighter. Electrolyte, that's what, propel, uh, provide electrolytes if you need it. That is all that I carry in my pack. It may be a little overkill. Like I said, it depends on... Um, <laughs> If you knew me at all, sometimes I go further than I should, and I have been without a pack and wish I'd had some of this stuff. So this pack is built on those experiences that I should have had a pack with me and didn't. So um, if there's something that I should have in here that I don't, put the comments, um, put it in the comments below. And if you think something is really ridiculous that I should take it out, let me know what that is and your reasons why. So, um, now I'm going to put everything back in there and I'm going to go up the trail. Or, there's not a trail. This is cross-country hiking today. So, um, it's already warmed up. So, my shirt's going to go into my pack, my long sleeve shirt. And I'm going to go hack up the hill some more. Are you ready, Sammy? You need a drink first, right? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Uh, one thing I wanted to talk about is um, before I had Sammy, I would carry trash bags too. I didn't have any trash bags in my pack because I always have on me doggy bags uh, with Sammy. So I, I carry them on my person at all times. So when I find trash or I have trash, um, I just use a doggy bag and it'll end up in the trash when I get when I get back home. So like I said, you want to pack it in? This is what my my electric blanket. <laughs> this is what my emergency blanket was in. So um, I'm gonna fold it back up and put it back into my first aid kit. But I have trash, so, um, you know, this I'll probably just stick in, in my bag. But if I find any along the way, I use a doggy bag to pick up trash. And so I didn't want to exclude that because you always want to carry some type of trash bag or baggy or something. So you can haul out what you, you or someone else has hauled in. It's just beautiful up here. Oh my goodness. I don't think it gets any better than this. I really don't.